time to write the action script to make this work. So back to scene one, select your actions on keyframe one, and we're going to start off by adding some variables into our init function that are going to um, help us out here. So here are the variables we're going to add. I'm going to put a go up flag equal to false and then a go down flag equal to false go uh, right flag Okay, these are some variables that I'm just creating on the fly. All right, and I'll put semicolons after those. Flash is very forgiving. If you forget the semicolon, the code will still work, but it's better to have the semicolon. So this variable is called go up flag, go down flag, go right flag, go left flag, and I've set all th four of those variables to false. Okay, the other thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to um, create a key listener that listens for which keys are being depressed. Okay, right now we say we have this that um, we have this piece of code here that lets us know if a certain key is down or not. And we might, we could possibly um, put this into, we could put this code into this um, hero enter frame function but I've done it in a different um, way on the previous game so we'll just do it this other way and it also gives you a chance to learn something new so in in this other game that I've done or in the previous version of this game that I've worked that I'm working on I create a listener to listen to whether keys are depressed so I'll say my listener and let's see here my lowercase my capital L listener equals a new object. It has to be capital O. Okay, and it looks like that. Now that creates an object, uh, part of the object class called my listener. So now I have this object called my listener. And then we're going to access the key class. So we type in a capital K key dot. We access the key class and say add listener and we add the listener and inside parentheses we say what listener are we adding my listener so this accesses the key class the add listener um, method and then adds the my listener object that we just created to this key listener okay and we'll say my listener dot on key up equals hero key up. And notice I've got a capital K and a capital U there and what we're saying is the listener when there's an on key up um, event handler execute the function hero key up which we haven't written yet but we will write and then same thing except this time guess what we'll just copy that and paste it and capital D down on key down hero key down alright so that adds a key listener called my listener and on key up we're going to execute a function called hero key up and then on key down hero key down and now we just have to write those functions so I have to write this function hero key down so I'll go down to the bottom of my code here and I'll say we'll start with the down function function hero capital K key down this is a custom function that we're writing and um, let's see here here we go all right we will say on hero key down whoops function hero key down open and close parentheses 
curly brace, two lines down, close the curly brace, and here's where the heart of our function goes. Okay, um, we'll start off with this one. K equals key class. I'm going to put space in here just to make it look good. Key class dot get code with capital C, open and close parentheses and a semicolon, and that's going to get the key number that's being depressed. So k dot key k dot get code, and then we'll say if k equal equals thirty seven. All right, if k equals thirty seven, open open curly brace. You'll see what's going on here, and then close curly brace. If k equals thirty seven and then inside if go left whoops go left flag equal equals false and the double equal sign is a test it's testing for equality so we say if the go left um, flag equals equals false then hero dot go to and play go left. Whoops. Okay, so we say if k equals 37, the 37 is the um, code number for the left arrow. If the go left flag equal equals false, hero dot go to and play go left. So that'll send him to the right keyframe. And once he's there, we want him to play. But this code could get called over and over again. So that's why what we do is we say, if the go left flag equal equals false, go to play go left. And then right afterwards, we say, go left flag equals true we set it to true. Okay, and I'll show you what that does in a second here. Um, right now, I'll play this. And, sh and uh, by the way, if you wanted to test, this is a good place to test what all the keys, what numbers they are. So what you could do is if you wanted to test that, you would say trace, you'd do a trace command here, and you'd say trace K. And in the output window, it would tell you all the numbers of the keys that you're pressing. So um, you could just trace that to an output window. It's kind of like a print command or an echo command in another language. Um, it will just output to a um, action script, uh, uh, to the little uh, flash window, the output window, and it'll tell you the, the key code that you're pressing. I'm going to comment that out for right now, and we'll, we'll test this out. So control enter. All right. You can see he doesn't move. He's still... He's, um, up and down, feet are not moving, which is strange, and then you go left, and there he goes, he starts walking left, and you can see he's actually walking left, and that's working. Okay, so all we have to do now is add the other pieces, and we're all set. So for instance, if I copied this and pasted it, let's see here, and what I'm going to do is put an else in front of here, else if, and we'll change this to 39, and change this to go right, and go right, and right, all right, so now we have an if, open and close, and then an else if, and if we wanted to, a lot of people like to put that like that. So right after this curly brace it says else if. And now if we hit control enter he walks right, he walks left. And you can see him turning there. Um, but as he goes right and I hit the left button again it doesn't work. So we'll have to figure out why is that not working. And we'll do that. I will stop the movie and do that next time. If we look at this action script I've put in the other pieces, and you can see it right now. 
uh, I put in an else if k equal equals 38, and that's the go up flag equals false, hero dot go to and play go up, and go up flag equals true afterwards. And you can see I did that again here. Now, I, now we can see how this looks, and I'll show you what happens. And now he goes up to the right and to the left, but he only goes once because when we set this to go left flag, um, let's say to true, right? And then the second time we try to go left, this if statement plays and it says, if the go left flag equal equals false. Well, we've set it to true. So this condition returns a false, right? And then this code does never executes. So this code right here, these two lines of code right here, will only execute if the go left flag equal equals false, if it's if it's false. And so once we set it so the first time it equals false, because we in our um, initialization function, we set it to false right here, right? But then when we set it to true here, when we set it to true here, um, it's no longer false. So the second time we try to go left, it won't work because this um, statement will not, this argument will not evaluate to true. Um, it'll, it will uh, evaluate to false because the go left flag does not equal equal false. So then this code will not execute. And um, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we've got the character. He goes left, right? You see him turn left. When we go up, he goes backwards. He turns to the back. And then he goes right. He turns to the right. And then when we go down, he faces forward and goes down. But then the second time we try to do it, he won't go left. He won't go up. He won't go right. And he won't turn down because all of these um, all of these variables have been set to true. And so these if statements and this else if statement, right, and this if one right here, the key is 39. That, that evaluates to true. If the k is 39, yeah, that evaluates true. So then it goes to the next line. And here's another conditional statement. And that does not evaluate correctly because, or does not evaluate to true because go right flag on the second turn does not equal equal false. It now it equals true. So um, we get a false here, and then the code doesn't execute. And then it tries the next one and the next one. So, well, that's easy because what we'll do is we'll set all those things back to true on the key up. So on the key up, we can set those things to true. So function hero key up, we will set those things to true. Now, also, I wanted to show you some other thing. Well, why did I put this in here? If it's causing so much problems, why did I put that in there? And I'll get rid of them, and I'll show you that what happens if you don't have this type of uh, flag in there or switch. Okay, so you hit, I, I commented those out and hit control enter. So he turns left, but he's not going to walk. See how his feet stay still? And his feet stay still, they're not walking because as I press on the key, what happens is um, this constantly evaluates to um, this, this go right equals flag evaluates to true constantly. And so the hero goes to and plays go right constantly. So it's constantly moving the playhead to the go right frame, but not allowing it to play the next three frames or the next 16 frames where he um, actually changes feet positions and his feet go up. So it constantly gets stuck right on this keyframe. If you're not sure what I mean by that, in other words, if we look at the hero movie clip, what happens is this evaluates to true and it stays, let's say, in the go down frame, but it never allows it to play through and watch the foot go up, and watch the foot go down, and then watch the other foot go up, and then return on its own accord back to the go down frame. It kind of just stays here and kind of like hovers here, and so it looks like the feet are standing still. And one more time, I'll show you that. So at first he starts to walk, but then watch, feet stay in the same position. Right, watch that. One more time. See that? He stays in the same position. Um, so that's something that we have to fix, and we're going to fix that with code.